Welcome to Movie, Movie Bitches. Bitches. Day 10 of the 12 days of Christmas. Oh my gosh, it is almost Christmas Eve. It's Christmas Eve Eve. Yes, Eve. All about Christmas Eve. Where's that? I'd watch it. I would absolutely watch yeah. that. Mm -hmm. On the 12th day of Christmas, my true love said to me, Ten more So today is a threefer. Well, you know how I can't uh, narrow down a list. Oh uh, yes, famously summer camp, and it's 15, 14, 14 movies. April and I are both bad at saying no. <laughs> well, I just you can't know, say no to these Christmas movies. The hard part with these is that you never know, right? It's like a box of chocolates. You never know until you bite into it. Yeah. Is this worth it, or should I spit it out? <laughs> So, some of these were nice, but not worth their own episode. <laughs> but first things first. Yes. Shout out to our Patreon supporters. $5 a month gets you ad-free early access. $10 gets you access to our viewing parties. We did take a break from doing RuPaul's Drag Race for our 12 days of Christmas. Right. But we will be back with season five at the start of the new year. Do not worry. Second thing second, make sure to subscribe, turn on that bell so that you know the minute that season five comes out again. Right, I know you back are up. all gonna be more excited about that, but. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Although every now and then people are like, I miss your movie reviews. And I'm like, we keep doing them. So I hope you guys are seeing them. I really do. Anyway, subscribe, share, ho, ho, ho. Follow us on Instagram oh, and Twitter. Oh, start on the wrong side, uh -oh, I don't know what to do. Oh, you get thrown off. You're not used to three. Well, no, I usually do three, but I usually do that. Uh -huh. and, I, and I started on this side and then it really threw oh, me it off. threw you off. What day of Christmas is it? There's literally no way of knowing. <laughs> right, anyway, follow us on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, Letterboxd, Rotten Tomatoes. I think you can follow us on Rotten Tomatoes, but you know, all of those good things. Do we change this from 12 days of Christmas mm -hmm. to an unhinged 12 days of Christmas? I like that. they slowly lose their minds. Yes. Talking about digital snow. <laughs> No? Perhaps we do. Uh-huh. Um, well, should I start? Yes, you should start. Should I start? I think you should. I am so excited to be here today. So I watched Mistletoe Time Machine. <laughs> Which, I mean, on paper, I was very interested in. I was in. very excited. And then you said it was just okay. It wasn't great. It was pretty bad, actually. Yeah. It was maybe one of my least favorite of the ones that we've watched this year. That's surprising, because we watched some shit. Some shit. <laughs> yes. It was okay. So, yes. three friends in high school. What does the time machine look like? There isn't one. False advertising. I am very upset. The time machine is it should Santa, be Santa's sleigh. who looks like Shia LaBeouf and, you know, Miles Teller. I'm Santa. You look like Santa's coked out cousin. Don't be creepy. But he's Santa. He's Santa. Santa's real. He's Santa. He, this person is magic. Okay. <laughs> on the house. It's a special blend of holiday magic. A mistletoe time machine. The movie starts. Three friends in high school. One's a singer, one's a lyricist, songwriter, and one is... Great with the lights. No, she's also on stage in the band. I just don't really remember what her... The deal. rhythm section. Ring bells, bang the drum. Yeah, she's the planner. And they're all in a she's band together. A-type. A and they are getting ready. The big moment of... The holiday spectacular talent show Jingle Bell Rock. Extravaganza, basically, right? But they're singing their own song that they've written. Is it bad? It was what? Oh, I don't know because oh. one of them uh, starts throwing up on stage. Oh no! And or into a bubble, like, runs off stage to throw up into a thing, and then there's those food um, poisoning or stage fright. Or option or C. Sabotage. No. Oh. Anyway. We'll oh, I'm pregnant! <laughs> ding ding ding! 
Oh, wow, that's scandalous for a Lifetime movie. Right? In high school? Yeah, well, yeah. Okay. Uh, we don't know it then, obviously. Okay. We just see her throw up. We're like, what's going on? This yeah. is crazy. There's some woman who's like the judge who's pushing a buzzer. It's like the voice. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> Apparently, we find out later the buzzer means that then you have to stop, then you're eliminated. It's the gong show. Right. Get the hook. Get yeah, out of here. Yeah, exactly. Get the hook. Which I think is really rude for a, a high school high school talent show for Christmas. That's rough. Like Burr Humbug, you know? <laughs> One of the friends goes and punches, hits the the bitch that's pushing the buzzer over and over and over again while the other one is throwing up, and I'm like, this is all crazy. Give me that buzzer, you cut to yeah, 20 years later. They are now adults. Then when they go through the time machine, it which is... Which isn't really a time which machine. Which is not, we'll get there. Okay. Then they're the same actresses. They don't even bother to give us like a, I looked in the mirror, oh my God, it's my young they self. They don't give us a quantum leap moment. No. Nope. I don't like it. It's just, oh my God, we're young. God, my abs are tighter, says one of them. There's a guy and it doesn't matter. There's a guy? Yes. That we'll, goes back with we, them? Yeah, We'll get in there. In the trio? Yes. So there's a quadro. Yes. Uh, well, no, it's a trio. Anyway, we'll get there. You're jumping ahead. I, like they all have their Christmas wish that they needed to fulfill when they go back in time to right the wrongs of the past. No time machine. No time machine. A mistletoe time machine. I, I thought it was gonna be like Orwellian or whatever. Right. You're like, oh, cool. Pump those brakes. Yeah, and, yeah. Oh know. god, we got it. One point twenty-one gigawatts. Get yeah, into nothing. the Santa's sleigh and yeah. Someone silly. Wait, Santa's sleigh is the time machine. Yeah, right. I mean, come on. Woo! No, nothing. Woo! None, none of that. None of that. <laughs> Anyway, so then another one is a singer, but she doesn't sing anymore because she they were also embarrassed from the thing. The the Indian girl manager, yeah. she is ostracized. She ha can't have a career because she punched the judge and she had to go to therapy and whatever. Then the singer yeah. is married to some like rich guy who's never there and he's like annoying and stuff and she's unhappy in her life, but she's like a social media influencer. I don't know. And then the songwriter, mm. she had to give up her dream of being a songwriter because she was pregnant and she had the kid and now she works for an insurance company and she's miserable, but she is like, well, it's a paycheck and that's more important than anything else. So what you're saying oh, I guess it was about this 18... movie is pro-choice. Right. <laughs> I mean, I thought they were going to go there. I thought they were going to go there. <laughs> they go home. They're all like basically raised by... What's I'll wrong? I'll some water. And my pills, please. Yeah. Are you okay? Uh, just a little lightheaded. I, uh, I forgot to take my morning pill. Oh. He's like dad to them all. He's sick. Oh no. He's dying. Oh no. Perfect time to find a time machine. Well, right? And so they... Is it something preventable? Yes. Okay, great. So they go back to help him move stuff or whatever, but they hadn't talked to each other for 18 years ever since this disaster of this... Wow, right? these friendships are so fragile. So fragile. So now they're all reunited. Yeah. He sends them to go pick up some Christmas whatever the fuck. I ordered a vegan holiday basket from the Christmas market for us to share. Maybe you three could go pick it up. Yeah. And then it's not ready yet, so then they go to the bar next door where they see the magical Santa is now the bartender. <gasps> and he makes them a special drink. Oh, and their friend, who they were friends with in high school, uh. happens to be there or whatever. They ran into him. He, turns out, was in love with the planner girl. Okay. He's like, hey, what are y'all doing? And he brings these drinks. They all pour th their three drinks into one drink for him. Mm. So they all have four drinks of this special cocktail. Do this. Oh, I wouldn't, uh... Let me get uh, one of them. Uh, one. Yeah, they're... Mm. I, not yet, you heathens. There's a toast. The Santa reads some horrible dialogue of like some limerick and they all make fun of it. And I'm like, yeah, but this is stupid. Go back into the past and rewrite your wrongs so that you can have the Christmas that you wanted. And then boof. Years go by, but if time came back, could you get on a different track? A chance to redo your one regret with some potential not yet met. To showcase is your merry mission. And then it's poof. Mm. Woo! So they didn't go back in time, they just got blackout drunk. 
They got blackout drunk, they pass out, they wake up, and now they are in high school again, but they all look the same. And What year is it supposed to be in the past? Dad, what's the year? 2008. Did they do a, anything fun with that? Not particularly. Oh. They had flip phones now. A flip phone? <gasps> oh, these buttons are offensive. Uh, still reffing Team Jacob pretty hard, I see. What? Are you crashing the prom or something? Do you come to the date? I'm so scared of that way. No. <laughs> it's so scary. And the posters. Wow, the that... movie I'm going to talk about soon also had a flip phone. Oh. There was another movie that had flip phones. It's weird. Oh, that was um, Christmas Mail. Oh, well, there's a reason that one had flip phones. Yes. <laughs> Dad? Hi. So then they're all like, well, I'm going to selfishly focus on writing the things that I feel like went my wrong wrongs. in yeah. my life. They have to get the band back together. Well, right. But they don't want to because they're all still angry at each other. So the singer, she's like, I just want to get with the popular kid from school because I have a crushing... Like get down with him? Uh, like to, to get to date him okay. so that she can feel accepted because all she's, all she's ever wanted is acceptance and that's why she's on social media as an influencer is because she needs to feel loved and that she has a gaping hole in her life of love. I don't know why. It was unexplained. You're an adult. Yeah. Oh, uh, are you okay? Hello? It was very bizarre. I feel like if as an adult I went back in time and saw my high school crush, Not I would be like, oh. I would not be like, oh, oh. I really want to... Well, they don't fuck or anything, but sure, sure, sure. still, I was like... Mm. Not even just for legal reasons. I think reasons. they do kiss. Weird. Weird. Not for legal reasons, but just I feel like I would be like... Oh, I'm, I'm way past that. I don't need oh, to do no. that again. Oh, no. That, that, that was a different time, different place. Yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. anyway. Yeah. The singer-songwriter yep. is like, oh, I if I get better grades, then I can get into college. And then I can get a better salary from the insurance company. So she's still banking on working for that insurance company. Yeah. Even though Magic Santa's thing was like, all will be proven when you fix the music competition that you did. You know, I forget the right, words. Right, but it right, was right. like, come on, you guys. What are we doing? So she's like, aha, I'm going to do that. Yeah. And then she fails all of her grades still and whatever. Because you forget everything from high school. Wow. I really never paid attention in class. Then the manager girl is trying to be like, she's like, you guys, we got to get this practice going. We got to do the thing. We got to get it going. So it's a whole thing and it just goes on and on forever. But they just learned that friendship is all they needed. Friendship and working together as a team was what they needed to do. Mm. They finally turn it around. She writes new lyrics based off of the lessons in life that they've learned. Turn it around. Turn, turn the wigs around. They turn the wigs around. I got it. Turn the wigs around. What? No, really. Come on. Turn the wigs around. Oh, Tina, it's so different. Uh, they perform, oh my God, it's a hit. No one, she doesn't throw up. She tells her her boyfriend at the time that she's pregnant. Uh. I'm gonna get a job at this insurance company, blah, 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 blah. And he's like, no, you, are, you should be a songwriter. I will support, like, I'll help you wear a team. That's nice. It was nice. So she married her high school sweetheart regardless of Time Machine. Regardless of Time Machine. Got it. But of time machine. Right. A mistletoe time machine. But before time swap, yeah. she like just was sure. like, I'm gonna give up my life. Right. We're not gonna have a conversation. I'm not gonna tell him. Okay. And post time swap, they had a conversation. He's like, I will support you. That's nice. It was nice. And then, yeah. so so then they all, they, they perform. Oh my God, it's a hit. Everyone's, wow, well, oh my God, woo, magic. Everyone's clapping. And now they're clapping for you as you have an award I would in have hand. liked if they, if it, woo, and they just, um, they were all like passed out on the bar and they're drooling and they're like. And it was just like, what the Whoa. fuck did you put in that drink? So anyway, then the principal is like, 18 years ago, these, 20 years ago, these girls won the talent High competition. talent competition. And they went off to have these magnificent careers and she won Grammys and she wrote all of the song lyrics for them and she's been their manager and they've been this magnificent career and there's their husbands. The the manager girl falls in love with is you. engaged now. She finds a ring on her finger. She's engaged to the, and he's in the audience. So they're like, oh my God, I guess we're engaged. And then they bring it up later That's where weird. they're like, oh, do you guys have memories of all of the new life that we passed through? And they're like, yeah, I do. Just checking. Do you have all your memories from this version of life? 
Yeah, we do. Yeah. It's wild. They come in That's flashes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, all's well that ends well, I guess. Everyone's happy. But it was bizarre. It doesn't sound very good. It was slow. It was just one of those ones where it's like... Uh... Well, there's three main characters. Who, yes. Or, well, four people go back. But three main characters who have to each accomplish three things. Yep. And they can't accomplish them right away. So no. they have to do other things and yep. fail it then. Yeah. And you're just like waiting for it to play out. Yeah. You're like, I can see where this is going. Just get the fucking band back together. Play the fucking song. And get on with it. I am enjoying this scene. Get on with it! Oh, it was that. Okay. Yeah. Quick commercial break? Yes, and we will be back with... Christmas. Terry Hatcher. Yeah! So, we both watched yes. Christmas at the Chalet. Yes. From 2023, from Lifetime. Yeah. Starring Terry Hatcher. Yeah. And no one else. No one. Love her. Haven't seen her in a minute. Yeah. Very excited. Yeah. I'll always. I, I do like Terry Hatcher. I, I, I think she's fun. I think so too. I've been re-watching Desperate Housewives. Okay. And she is maybe one of the weakest links. Okay. Well, and... when you're up against Marsha Cross. Well, right. Wait! 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 It's not what it looks like. Kimberly. Kimberly. It's worse. No! And other people. I didn't actually watch that show. Marsha Cross is definitely the best part. Oh God, who plays Nicola Sheridan? Well, there. Nicola Sheridan is there. We'll talk about her later. And Eva Longoria. Eva Longoria also awful. And um, there's one other who plays the blonde mom, who's the business worker. Felicity Huffman. Felicity Huffman. I of didn't course. even watch the show. <laughs> um, anyway, yeah. uh, I, I just I find her to be uh, charismatic and fun. Yeah, and, and... Especially in this, I thought she was really yeah. charismatic and fun. That was the best part. A little bit of a strange plot. Very She's bizarre. um all a reporter. Like she used to be a reporter. Correct. She gave up her career to marry but and she's raise a child. Famous enough that twenty years later. Well, she's famous people now still because her, her ex recently ex husband yeah. is a famous newscaster. But like, okay, sports. First caster. of all, I mean, I know we're not the most sportsy people, but like. Can you name a famous sportscaster? Only a football player, and even then? Can you think of a famous sportscaster's wife? N never. <laughs> In a million years. So like people kept being like, Lex? Right? Uh, have I delivered here before? No, I don't think so. Oh, yeah, I know. You're the wife of that sportscaster. Oh, let me get a selfie. Oh, oh you're the sportscaster guy's wife. Can I get a selfie? And I'm like, no. No one maybe would ask if they had like a reality show or if they right? implied that she was a real like, housewife of some sort. Exactly. But I was like, what is this? Anyway, so she gave up her career to have uh, their kid. She loves being a mom. Yep. 20 years later, they she's been divorced for a year. Her grosso uh, husband oh, left her. Oh, her grosso son. They're both gross. Honestly, I didn't like any of the men in this movie. They're all gross. <laughs> They're all assholes and mean and gross. And Terry Hatcher is this like beacon of light and everyone was gross and I didn't like them. <laughs> ooh, ooh, ooh. So her son is an influencer and he is like, Mom, why don't you be one too? Yeah. How many recognizable women over 50 are on socials? Like really sharing, not their PR team. You could. Women of, of your age <gasps> bracket. I was could like- Could you believe that? Bitch, sit. Down. down. He's a little brat and he's like, you should be um, putting your face out there because you're old, essentially. Right, essentially. And, and you can make some money off of it and start a new career. Even though she has this fabulous house. Right, I was like, I think she's fine. And she's making Christmas cookies. She's getting cookies. that alimony. Fuck it. Oh, she is getting that alimony. She's making Christmas cookies, drink. Yep. And um, I think it, over over the credits, it's been a lot of... Oh my and God, making, making the Christmas, Christmas cookies. cookies. And I guess I gotta make some Christmas cookies this year. These movies are like, um, what is that, you know, where you like... Subliminal? Subliminal. Like, I, literally, uh, when we were watching Three Wise Women and a Dumb Baby, whatever the fuck that movie was called, at a certain point I was like, I think I need to make Christmas cookies. Come on down, it's cookie time, it's cookie time. I have never made Christmas cookies. Ever? Not like Christmas cookies. Oh, I've okay. made cookies for Christmas. Sure. But like stamp them out right, and, and decorate, decorate them, them with the gross frosting I don't like. Mm. 
It really frosts my cookies. Anyway. Anyway, yes, the sun is awful. He oh, well, first of all, so she's making the Christmas cookies and there's music playing. Yes. Suddenly. Come on, Santa. I was like, did the Bluetooth speaker like turn off? Did it lose connection? Because when, as soon as she needs to have dialogue, it's just like, Vroom. Vroom. and I was like, what happened? Oh. You could tell your story, set the narrative, not to mention make money. <sighs> also, women might be inspired by someone like you crushing life. I'm crushing life, huh? He was awful. He looked like Ashton Kutcher and Ezra Miller. Like Something. Combined. He was... And his wardrobe. Ugh. Uh, some of the sweaters were okay, With but most chain? of them were not. Oh, remember, I don't remember he had a chain and like a... There was, was a green one that I feel like I liked. It was... But a lot of them were not good. I mean, I'll say this. He's a douchey influencer. Yes. So I was like, oh, this makes sense. Sure. But I didn't like it. No. Her uh, son is like, hey, dad and I are going to Aspen. You should come with us. And she's like, it's your dad's year, even though they've only been divorced for a year. It doesn't matter. I don't know. She's like, ha no, I can't. I'm not going to intrude on that. I've got a sexy guy coming over. Oh, right. He cancels, blah, blah, blah. So she's like, I'm just going to, this is another like navigating Christmas moment. She's oh, like, I'm I mean, just, I'm just going to book, this bloop was, on my iPad. She didn't even bloop it though. She did. Andrew. <laughs> she looked up the website and went, great, booked. I was like, no, girl, you did not book that. Aspen, here I come. Hmm. She didn't, I, she, I was literally like, you, you did not succeed in this. <laughs> so she books her hotel, heads she, off to Aspen. She flies to Aspen. She's she got a lands on the plane. great winter wardrobe. Yes, she does. Yes, she does. Really great. And lands. Well, except for then she just wears the same outfit every day. Did you notice that? Well, it was mixy matchy. Okay. Sometimes she she like wear she didn't the same have sweater. fancy outfits to and go to dinner, you know, but then, then like during the day it was like this is I the same. I liked that she was like it seemed like she actually packed a suitcase. I mean, yes, there would be more than the one she was carrying that was clearly empty, but. Just put like a pair of boots in there or something. Um, but uh, I like that she rewore some things because it made yes. it feel like, oh, yes. I actually yeah. packed something. So she gets to the airport, 40 minutes for an Uber. And this man, I yeah. was like, what the fuck is his problem? He is a full asshole. Yes. He's got boxes of wine and she's like, maybe we could split the pair. Or you know what? I'll cover the whole thing. How's that sound? Um, there's no space. There's only you. Me and uh, six boxes. Hi, are you going to the Chateau de Neige? The Chateau de Neige. The Chateau de Neige. You're going too? Great. Can we share the cab? Yeah. We'll split it, or I'll just pay for it, or whatever right, you want. Right. I can can't get a cab. cab. I'll pay for it. I don't care. But like, can we share? And he's she like, No. I this... have to bring all of this wine. Well, she puts the suit her suitcase right. in. He takes it out. Mm -hmm. uh, I hand selected them and pre-booked the cab. Well, I don't mind holding them on my lap. <laughs> I actually do. So. Oh, come on. I don't mind holding a box. And right. he goes, I do. I was like, what is this what? man's problem? Right. Also, you can Fine, fit she it can, all. she can hold her suitcase and you can put the wine in the trunk. This, this is a this Prius. Was, this it's pretty was, large. Uh, this was a Titanic situation where I was like, you can yeah. both fit in the cab. It really was. You don't have to drown. He was being such an asshole. Such an asshole. And then. Everybody in here know that she should have got up off that bed and, and shared it with him. And she over there trying to get him up there barely. And he like, you know. <laughs> And he's just like, I'll stay here, Rose. I'll stay here. Homeboy died holding on to it. She had to pull his hands off. It was so frozen. I'm like, girl, I, you ain't think to take turns. She let my brother freeze. <laughs> she had to freeze to death before her very eyes. She watched him. Did y'all ever get that part? That's the cold part about it. She watched my man. You mad about this damn movie, She took though. a nap, Steve. Who is she? Was she in the boat? Winslet, and you know what you did. And then. And then. She's like, she already said that she was also going there. And he goes like, are you a guest or something? Are you a guest of Chalet de Neige? No, I just like taking rides to random hotels. Yes, I'm a guest. Please, take my cab. Oh. oh. You should have the cab then, because I work there, I own it, you fucking douchebag. What kind of business are you running that you wouldn't be like, what? What? At this point in the movie, I was like, oh, so she's going to end up back with her ex-husband, because this man is not a viable candidate. No. 
I thought he was going to be the villain of the whole entire movie. <laughs> too. She's He's constantly battling into, against the right? fucking asshole. He's coming mid- back into town because he wants to sell the family business because he's fucking over it or whatever. No! She ends up investing. Oh, investing no. in this lighthouse is the smartest decision I could ever make. <laughs> the smartest investment. Investment. Oh boy. Investing is what I do and that lighthouse is the best investment I could ever make. I feel like movies have yet to really crack the influencer bit. Well, because it's... You remember in fucking the Lindsay Lohan one? Oh boy. They never get the technology right. Well, right. I mean, in this movie, wow. She's doing a lot of lives. Yes. Where, like, she would go viral for the embarrassment that she is. You know what I mean? So first, you're going to need a helmet and some... Oh, oh, there goes my ski. Ah, I gotta get it. (laughs) Oh. Are you okay? (laughs) I'm fine. What do you mean? There was so many times where she's like... Hey guys, just like going live, blah, 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 blah. And someone would talk to her off camera and she'd be like, what? Yeah, no, totally. That's what it, blah, blah. Anyway, like she would just forget she was live a lot of time. And I was like, I mean, <laughs> Yeah, that's sure. true. That's right. And it was lives, supposedly. A it lot. wasn't like it was that she was going to post it later. No, just she's not editing and edited it out. They are live and yeah. she's sending it out to the I mean, the world. you know, I don't know. So just, there was a few times where I was like, this is. Yeah. Am I a duvet stuffing genius or what? Okay, I have a question. Yeah. (laughs) But I have this hack, and so you have to let me know if this is a commonly known thing or if I am a bed-changing genius. Don't forget to enter the trash. What was her secret? No one knows. She was jumping on the bed. It was nonsense. I didn't... It was absolute nonsense. She was claiming she has a life hack for stuffing a duvet, and it was parachuting it? I, I... it's like that's what everyone does. Isn't that you how grab you two stuff corners a and then you throw it out to the other? So two I guess corners. to answer your question, no, you're not a. <laughs> you <laughs> yeah, didn't. Okay, no. Okay, no. And so you have to let me know if this is a commonly known thing or if I am a bed changing genius. <laughs> Don't forget to empty the trash. Anyway, so yes, she gets to the chateau. De neige. De neige. Oh my god, can we talk about this hideous chateau? Well, the and whole the, thing. And the, the yellow hideous. brick road of pebbles. The da, pebbles da, 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 da. Why did they bother meandering so pebbles? Can't get through away the from stone you. tile? Snow? Awful. Traction? Awful. Getting snow off their boots? I'm trying, mm. I'm trying, I'm trying. Okay, but then cleaning that nightmare. nightmare. If that's where everyone's walking with their muddy, snowy boots on that grout in between all of those pebbles, just have it be stone. <laughs> then these huge tree joist uh-huh. things, the hideous tile in the suite and the stonework. I don't remember. Oh, man. How did I miss it? So my reservation didn't go through? Shall I call you a cab? <laughs> Don't you have any other rooms? The week before Christmas. She gets there. What do you mean I didn't confirm my reservation? Well, you never booked it, so. Yeah. You never, um, anyway. Um, well, what should I do? I don't fucking care. I'm not in the service industry. Like, I'm not in the well, hospitality. Like, he's, he was he, such a fucking asshole. He was asshole. such an asshole. Well, unless you want to pay me to build a new room while you wait for it to be finished, I'm afraid your money's no good here. He was basically like, I don't know, fuck you, lady. And so then... Because she seems like she's got money. Right? You know, I was she's like, not like some street urchin. Right. You're like, okay, get out of my he, I mean, sure, he's like, we are fully booked. I don't know. Go sometimes fuck yourself. Sometimes he's French. Sometimes he's not French. <laughs> no, the mom was French. No, I know, but sometimes but yeah. he's more French yeah. and then he's less French. Right. And well, then there's the little girl that he... he she spoke horrible French. I mean, obviously, she's like six. I, I mean, give know. her a break. Yeah. She spoke French. That is true. Qui n'a pas de ça, mais qui vous parle? A quelqu'un qui n'est pas un enfant. Bon. Are you French? She did recite the lay- lines that she were in French. She phonetically memorized the lines in French. Phonetically is a generous. Either way, she did not know what she was saying. No. And so the only room available is for staff. For the chalet girl. Person. I mean person. They made that joke too many times. I'll take it. It's for a chalet girl. A chalet girl. Chalet person. It doesn't have to be a girl. 
They help run everything, cleaning, cooking. I mean, I will say laugh. this entire concept was bonkers and stupid, right? Right. She is supposedly going on a vacation for a week to Aspen to, to spend time with spend her time son. with her influencer son, who cannot be bothered to cannot. do anything with her, but also is like, God, Mom, aren't you gonna hang out with me and your ex-husband who you hate and his new girlfriend? Who's 24 Warm, years old or whatever? Fly, I don't fly, remember. I didn't care. Flu, flies, sure. Lees, Lees. Lees. She was Lex, and then the, the, the new, new one was one Lees. Lees. Lex Riley. Charles told me you were here. You remember Lees from my management team? She didn't have any plan, and she's like, well, I'll just be a maid, and I'll start my social media career by being real on on Instagram. And I know about how fold, to fold napkins. Yep. And clean everything. And how to set a table and whatever. Sure. And it, only but because she's very... only because Terry Hatcher was very charismatic and endearing and charming. I was like, I would watch and this. Like I would watch her Instagram stories. Psychotically cheerful at times. Yes. I am not giving up. I am going to get this one bunny hop at a time. <laughs> You. Uh, but the sommelier chateau owner right. starts He's obsessed to... with wine, but he got stuck into right, running the chalet his because his niece... No, yeah, yes. his sister died, yes. leaving his niece to, to him. him. Technically, I'm, I'm not a dad. When's the last time you had sex? He wasn't doing a lot of parenting. Not really, he was... but either was the grandmama. <laughs> No, not at all. The girl seemed to be raising herself. Yeah. Bonjour. You have to help me with this one. Uh -huh. I wrote down musical treatment. Okay, I was literally just talking about it. <laughs> okay. I just looked at my notes On and I her said, phone? Oh, this is not oh, do you remember? Oh, God. So this was the dumbest. <laughs> That's the best I've seen those look. What's your trick? I sing a little song in my head. Oh my god. <laughs> the girl, the other chalet girl is like, wow, you really know how to hang those Christmas, Christmas lights, lights on that tree. Oh, I'll tell you my secret. Oh, you know my secret. It's to do a musical tree lighting where you do it to the beat of the music. Let me show you. This is genius. And then you go, uh, uh, uh. It was uh, utter nonsense. Utter, and then you put it in, and then I'll show you, and I'm gonna do it for my live. And everyone's having fun to the stupid song where she's holding the music on my phone. I was like, what the fuck is this bullshit? Well, she was just like immediately like, and Sonos speakers? Yeah, right? That was the dumbest the, one. The dumbest. I know, but at some point she did say, and that's how you make special napkins. <laughs> I wrote that down too. Isn't that pretty? Yeah. That's how you make special napkins. Because <laughs> that was the line we landed on. Special napkins. Special napkins. I will say, I mean, everyone should have known that I was gay when I would learn how to make little sailboats. But special napkins? Special napkins. Yeah. That's how you make special napkins. So I also wrote down there was a certain time uh, where she was like, turn down for what? And thanks to him, I now have two hours of turn down service. Turn down for what? Which Turn is, down for, for what? what? Dude, dude, dude. So now I want to mix them together. What's his name? <laughs> Eric. And thanks to him, I now have two hours of turn down service. Turn down for what? Yes. <laughs> We're just gonna... Turn down for what? Turn down for what? <laughs> boop, -a -doop, doop, 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 doop. -a -doop. <laughs> I thought the same thing. So anyway, so she melts the Somalis, cold card heart. Kinda. Right, he teaches her how to ski. Well, before, I mean, this was, I wasn't invested in them. She was on her own journey and he happened to be there. Right. But anyway, she's teach, he's teaching her how to ski. He had a whole thing about wine. I love that they were like doing a little tasting, but then he gets called away for business. And she's just, and she's just like, you know what? I'm going to grab the bottle that I liked and go up to my room. woo -hoo! I wrote down, these carolers are awful. So... This was wild. Laughing all the way, bells on bobtail ring. I wrote down because it was a minor key jingle bells. Okay. That's Everyone cool. was singing in a minor key. I was like, it was like a fucking horror movie. It was awful. And I was like, ooh, maybe there's a horror, horror jingle bells. Oh, okay. Where it's like, you know, jingle bells. Like, I, mm. I can't even do it. 
Okay. It was weird. A one and a two and a three and a... this is for us. What if you did a horror Christmas movie called Sleigh Bells? That might but already exist. B-E-L-L-E-S. Like the bells of the balls, and it's like a a, a female. Oh, oh, I was at Slay. Well, also that. It's definitely already a movie called Slay. Yeah, bells. Bells or something. Got like... you. But I like the idea that it's like you know a group of women, like yeah. of, of of. So we get like high school basically bitches. Basically, we get the the cast of designing women back together. Mm. Southern bells. Yep. Okay, sure. Slay yep. bells. They're, yep. They're they're putting together a big Christmas pageant. Yep. But their douchey and... husbands need to die. They had to go. They had to Earl go. Earl had to go. <laughs> and it didn't take them long to decide that Earl had to die. He needs to go. Where is this film going to run, Andrew? I don't know. Why not? Who, I, I would watch Lifetime. it. Lifetime. Yeah. I, I, would. I do think that there's an empty space mm -hmm. on the Lifetime lineup yep. for Christmas thriller. Right, right. You know, because they don't do horror. No. But it's more like, you know, my neighbor was stalking my niece and the swim instructor got obsessed with my wedding planner and it was the wrong. I feel like that would do very well. Right. Hallmark Movies and Mysteries, give me a Christmas thriller into it. Slay Bells. And yeah. Delta Burke is there. Yeah. Because. Because. Yeah. I like that. And yeah. also give Annie Potts more work. Yes. Just yeah. putting that out into the world. Yeah. Anyway, she gets together with the wine guy and is going to move to Aspen and run this um, Perhaps, chalet with him. But... Sell her gorgeous house and... The son is also going to spend a lot of time he there. He has a snowboarding sponsorship, sponsorship and, and so he's going to spend the winter there and they're going to get closer. Know. And I was like, I don't care about any of them. No, but I do love Terry Hatcher and I thought she was fabulous. I thought she, she really carried the movie. You know, she really, really did. Really, yeah. really did. Yeah. And this is for you. For what? To wear. Uh, I'm going to do such a good job, you're not even going to notice that I'm not wearing that. This satin dress that she runs out into the snow in, I was yeah. like... Yes. <laughs> oh. oh! What are you doing? I was trying to stop you. I wasn't going anywhere. What? So, quick commercial break, and we'll be back with Mary Kiss Cam. So, I watched Mary Kiss Cam. Yeah. Mar Vista. Oh! 2022. Okay. Starring Jesse Bradford. He's the love interest in Bring It On. Love it. And he's in Far From Home. Oh, wow. A man and his golden retriever get lost in the wood boy and his gold, yeah. whatever that movie was. Yeah. Is a golden retriever, retriever different than a lab? Yes. And they have longer hair. Okay, so I might have spent my entire life assuming that those two dogs were the same. Okay, great. Love that we just unlocked that discovery. They're not the same? No, they're different. A yellow lab is a Labrador. Right. And a golden retriever is a retriever. Yellow, gold. golden. They are both, you know... Okay. Say hello to your new mom. You want to go to Wookie do you do 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 Anyway, Jesse Bradford. I hadn't seen him in a while. I was excited about it. The two leads, cute, seem human. Oh. Are adults. Oh. Uh, the whole movie is them going on dates and discovering they like each other. Okay. Instead of, what? I don't know. Uh, awkward. Right. Oh, what? Yeah. Oh. Oh, 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 what should we do? We met at the Christmas tree lot. God, I really love Christmas. Yeah. Wow, I think I'm in love with you. Oh, we almost kissed. Ah, oh, we didn't. Stephen, what did you do with the rest of the roasted chestnuts? So it was like an adult rom-com. Wow. This one was 
pretty good. Wow. I was like, this feels real-ish. Okay. She is an artist, an abstract painter. Oh. Uh, but she's kind of... Very uh, Lainey Boggs. Yes. What do you want me to say? Don't go. Well then, fine. I will say it. Don't go! So, but she's a little introverted. She It opens. She's at an art, her a gallery opening, and she uh. doesn't want to talk to everybody because she's shy or whatever. Uh. And there's this weird European couple it was giving of course of course of course just like two weirdos like in the corner who are weird and you're like these weirdos in case you haven't noticed i'm weird i'm a weirdo i don't fit in and i don't want to fit in have you ever seen me without this stupid hat on that's weird and they're like art weirdos who wear the same big um moody I love. Good. I'm so glad. Six Flags dancing old man glasses. Oh yeah. Okay, great. They keep showing up to be like art, Europe, Europe, European things. Ah. Anyway, she has a friend. They don't seem like friends. You know how there's always like that friend, and it's like a loosely work friend, but you're not really sure, and you're like, well, how do you know each other, and are you really friends? I can't just be a good friend, yeah. like. Can you please come with me to my company party? It wasn't great. Okay. But she's like, calm down to the office Christmas party. I can't, I have to paint. I'm having pa uh, painter's block. <laughs> oh, okay, fine, I'll come. Okay, fine, I'll come. So she comes down. This is where it gets a little strange. Okay. okay. Oh, and they're in Duluth. Oh. They make a big point of it. They are in Duluth. Duluth. And th they talk about it a lot. She takes a cab and it. I guess it parks outside of a bar that's near the office Christmas party i wasn't quite sure so she looks out the window and there's jesse bradford okay and it's a big irish pub pub okay. bar and he's kind of you know having a moment to himself okay. and he gives santa some change for charity and then there's like a christmas mailbox outside of his bar it'll make sense when i show you great and he's like oh the snow and then they, he takes some snow that was piled on top of the christmas mailbox and eats it <gasps> No. And instead of her reaction being that. She looks at him like, oh my God, dreamboat. I have just fallen in love. That was, that, that was, it was so weird. Like he stops and, and tastes the tastes snow. the snow on a dirty mailbox in a street, in a town where they get plenty of snow. It's not like it's some miraculous never happens ever. The way that she looked at him with it a wasn't even like gleam in her uh, eyes. on his tongue from it falling. No. Yep. That is disgusting. Yeah. So anyway, because of this encounter, uh -huh. she goes into the bar. Okay. Which is not the office it's Christmas not party, the, okay. which I found to be confusing, but she shows up. Okay. It's a local bar. Yep. Guess what? He's the bartender. Guess what? He owns it. His father gave it to him. It's a hockey bar. Oh. And everyone's like, who's this girl? Oh, my God. She's not a regular. Oh, my God. Who's this woman? Oh, my God. Oh, Uncle, Uncle Lou's going to tell her bad dad jokes and get her to flirt with bartender guy because, oh, my God, there's a new woman in the bar. And she, uh, I mean, I guess it's it was like, town. what is going on? Does she have beer flavored nipples? What is it with this chick? She have beer flavored nipples? How small is Duluth? I mean, they were taught. It was it was wild. I don't know. But anyway, I like a good dad joke. <laughs> oh, you're gonna love this guy. Then. Old man's full of them. Oh, is he your dad? No, but he's still an old man. Mm -hmm. My dad's dead. Oh, she does have a red winter coat. So oh, good drink. Drink. And there was an okay, of course. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Of course. Anyway, they have a great time. He's like. Did she never go to her friend's Christmas party? We don't see it. She's like, I'm gonna leave and go. But we don't... But no cell phones or anything to be like, hey, where the fuck are you? It's I don't know. 11 o'clock and I've been at this party waiting for you. It was strange. Okay, great. But they, the guy, the friend's boyfriend is also into hockey and has been to this bar. And then mm. later she's talking to said friend and she's like, oh yeah, McCorkle's bar. It wasn't that. I'm Danny. Danny Carmody. Nice to meet you. I'm Danny Carmody. Makes sense. That's my dead dad. Oh my god, come on. Corm Cormody. Cormody's? Corm okay. Cormody's bar. Okay. Oh, Jesse at Cormody's bar? He's everyone's dreamboat. He's the Duluth hunk of blah, blah. Everyone's obsessed with him? I don't know. Sure. What? Danny? You know Danny? Everyone knows Danny. He's like the Duluth golden boy. Mm -hmm. Crushed on by all the ladies. Well, you don't know him. 
anyway, they have a sexy time and she's like, well, I'll see you around. Bye. And she was like drawing something. And so she drew like a coaster. Uh huh. And drew his face uh -huh. and then signed it, her name. Okay. And he's like, she's walking out and he's like, wait, what was your name? What's your number? And she just leaves. Oh. Implying that she would like him to digitally stalk her. Right. Right? Like that's... All I'm going to give you is my artist signature on this coaster that one day you will sell for probably no money. Oh, that, that weird European couple really likes her art. Oh, okay. Well, so then maybe. We're mm. so excited for your new work. I'm dying to get a taste. Of course. You know, she is making a living at abstract art. When Duluth. she's dead, that story, right? This was the coaster of their true love. Yep. And, you know, yep. sure, you can sell that for... Before a... he died of dysentery from eating dirty snow. <laughs> So anyway, he digitally stalks her, but he's bad at technology oh and still has a flip phone. Oh god. In 2022. He's that he's a he's what uh, what's this? Instagram and you're like, "What?" Anyway, long story short, they start dating and it's okay. cute Great. and they're cute. Right, they go and on a she has a job with... and likes to do stuff and he has a job and likes to do stuff. And then they share the things that they like to do with each other. So he's like, "Hey, do you want to go to a hockey game?" and she's like, "Yeah, let's see how it goes." There was a lot of clunky exposition dialogue. So of course. It's really, drink. it's really been bad. It's been bad lately. I'm a builder, so I, I work with wood a lot, and pine is a, a soft wood, but it's more durable than most. Oh. Oh, what's a DM? It's a direct message. Anyway. I clicked the like thing. Oh, now she knows you're stalking her. Uh, send her a DM. Right, right, right. What is DM? Okay, you live on. in the world. You right. own a bar. What's happening? Like you own a business. <laughs> Isn't it just for like the moms that are watching? Sure. Oh, because the movie really wants you to know that his dad is dead. Well, my my dad died. My dad's dead. Dad's dead. Boop mm. boop. And then she's like, "Ha ha! You made a joke about how your dad's dead." And he's like, "Yeah, he's definitely dead." That's my dead dad. And then when he messages her, he's like, "Hey, this is Jake with the dead dad." And I was like, "What's happening?" <laughs> Oh no. Okay. I'm doing it. What is this? Anyway. So you drink every time he brings it up? Sure, if you're watching this specific movie. Okay, so she takes her friend to brunch, she says. Okay. They ju it's a liquid lunch. And is like, should what should I say? Should I go to the hockey game with him? And the drinks that they are drinking. It was like a huge tropical Mai Tai Bloody Mary. It looked like it had a pickle, oh. a olives, a shower loofah, a celery stick. Oh. It was, I it spent a lot of time trying to decipher what the fuck. The, the pickle was a re that really threw me off. Yeah. It was like a, a long, like a, a dill spear. spear. Weird. It was weird. <gasps> uh, no, 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 no. He shoots his scores. He takes her to a hockey game. Great. For the Bulldogs. Yep. They're in a perpetual losing streak. Oh no, but oh. she's a good luck charm. And they, they're on the kiss cam. They're on the kiss cam. And they have a funny, awkward moment where he's like, I've been to 5,000 hockey games and I've never been on the kiss cam. So, <laughs> oh no. Oh, it's deer in the headlights couple. No, 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 no. Never seen this before, apparently. Oh, it's, it's our first game. No, 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 no. And then she's rightly so is like, oh no, and like puts the pretzel in front of her face and is like, Bleh. and he's like, it's our first date, and they're like, this is win. Wait, it was their first date. It's for the win. She's like, fuck it, because oh, something has happened in the past that she's oh, emotionally traumatized, and we don't we don't know yet, but she'll dump it on us later, and um. He was in the Amazon with my mom when she was researching spiders right before she died. So she's like, fuck it. And like, gives him a pretty good spooch. Okay. And you're like, okay. And everyone's like, <sighs> and they win the game. So then it becomes that they're. Oh, they always go to every game. They so have it's like to. 50 first dates or whatever yeah. the fuck. Uh, fever pitch or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Seems this kiss cam couple is creating quite a ruckus around town. Everyone's calling her pretzel. Oh, because she held the pretzel in front of her. <laughs> I mean, that's, that's so cute. like so they'll, they'll like show up at the next hockey game and they're, and they're like, like hey, pretzel! pretzel! Wait, there might be hope. 
It appears half of our Lucky Lips duo is here. That's right. Lucky Lips Danny Carmody is seated and ready, but no pretzel in sight. Where is pretzel? And I was like, this is silly. <laughs> that is silly. So there's a man that's sitting behind them who's wearing a tragic wig. <laughs> he has a baseball cap. Okay. And it's like a foop. Oh, no. It's like a shake and go foop. Yep. And it doesn't match. And it's... um. I mean, obviously, I would have preferred a lace front, but sometimes a shake and go can get the job done. Anyway, so then it's like, oh, I'm, you know, we have to go to every game, and every time they kiss, they keep winning. They're on yeah. a winning streak, and yeah. the bar's happy, and yeah. she's happy, and they're falling And then he love. fucks it up by lying to her about his dead dad, who shows up out no, of the blue. No, no, no. He uh, tells her about the dead dad 400 times. You know, he's alive. Uh, it turns out, no, the dad, no. Uh, I'm sorry, he's dead. I still see my dad every day. Turns out the girl had a fiance, uh -huh. he died when they were fianced. Tell my fiance I'm looking for him. <laughs> I have lost my fiance, the poor baby. <laughs> so she's scarred and uh, creatively uh, truncated Stunning. or whatever. Yeah. And, uh, and so he has been cyber stalking her, you know, to, because she's... Not to, just to find her? Well, he found her and then he was looking at an old Instagram video and it was her being like, my fiance, Todd, whatever. Mm. And he's like, fiance? Ellen, have you seen my fiance? Mm. And then he's like, oh, he died. Oh, this, oh, that. So then he's like, should I tell her? Shouldn't I tell her? This is weird. And she's like telling her friend, like, I'm not ready to tell him that Todd died. Mm. So she gets mad that he knew because it was knew. publicly available information. It was, I mean, she gets over it pretty quick. Okay, anyway, great. I like you. So she doesn't show like up to a game. So she doesn't show up to a game. Guess and they what? Lose. They lose, but everyone in the bar, there's a montage of everyone, patrons of the bar at the games trying to make out and see what the right, you know, Maxwell's silver hammer yep. combination of so they can win. So like everyone's making out with everybody. Oh, that's fun. Um, so that was silly. And then, I don't know, they get together at the end. Okay. You who yes. love birds. Hello. Otto. I didn't know you were a fan. Oh, nobody's a bigger fan than BB. What? And to see you on Kiss Cam gave BB and I the warm fuzzies all over. Right, BB? Do they win the pennant or whatever the fuck? The King's Cup, the baseball. the Stanley Cup, Stanley it's, Cup. Oh, um, it's uh, college hockey. The fuck is that? <laughs> anyway, I liked them both, and it was like fun to see someone with a different job. Like, oh, I'm a painter. Oh, I right. I run a sure. bar, a local business. Well, you know, like it was a little bit different. Sure. And they well, and be a grown ups and have like dates where they talk about things and do like, and, like I just that's what I'm missing in these movies. The so. the sort of. It was like a mature reason for them to come apart and come together and yep. whatever. And you'd be yep. like, ah, and it would have been so easy for him to be like, you didn't show up for the game and the team lost and it's all your fault. Right. He was very much like, she was busy with work, guy. Like all the people at the bar are like, pretzel fucked it up. Ah. And he's like, she had things to do. Like, so he was cool. Nice. It was good. Good. Jesse Metcalf? No, who was it? That is a person. Yeah. It was Jesse Bradford. Bradford. Okay. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> I need to get a pickle in here. <laughs> Rough day? Don't ask. Are these kosher? 